This little girl was in huge danger, but her hero dog did this. Welcome to Viral Stories, secrets, facts, and strange stories from around the world. If you find yourself amazed at what some of our fellow humans and animals can do, this is the place for you. This is a channel you're going to want to tell your friends about. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of our new uploads. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy Viral Stories. Nothing's more precious than the relationship between a child and their dog. When this dog noticed his infant companion was in grave danger, he acted fast. Much to the horror of those watching, his rescue attempt looked like a vicious attack. The infant's mother was horrified and felt helpless as she watched from the kitchen. Of course, she thought her dog was trying to kill her baby. When she learned the truth, she could not have been more relieved. When you learn the truth, your heart will fill with all the feelings. Keep watching to learn how Khan's heroic act almost ended his life. We'll also meet some other amazing life-saving dogs later on. When Catherine Seville gave birth to her first daughter, Charlotte, she wasn't sure if she wanted more kids. To make sure Charlotte didn't grow up alone, she adopted Khan, a Doberman who was rescued from an abusive home. Despite a warning that Dobermans tend to be a violent breed, Catherine had a good feeling about Khan. It helped that the large dog was scheduled to be put down in a few days. At the time, Catherine had no idea that Khan would repay her for saving his life shortly. The decision to adopt a dog turned out to be an easy one for Catherine. She grew up with a dog and knew she wanted Charlotte to have the same companionship. The loving mother also knew she wasn't planning to have another child. The tough decision came when she had to decide what kind of dog to adopt. Catherine knew it was important to get Charlotte a companion that was good with children. Dobermans, like Khan, don't have reputation as family-friendly dogs. So why'd Catherine throw caution to the wind and adopt him? You'll just have to wait to find out. When Catherine saw Khan at the animal shelter, it was love at first sight. She knew the reputation of Dobermans, but there was something about Khan she knew was different. When she talked to the shelter, they told her the dog had an abusive past and was scheduled to be put down the following week. Against everyone's warnings, Catherine made her decision and saved Khan's life. Somehow, some way, Khan must have known he'd been saved. When he arrived at his new home, everything seemed right with the world. Catherine was slow to introduce Khan to Charlotte. She knew the dog needed to be introduced to her toddler slowly. Once the bond was formed, however, the pair were inseparable. Khan followed Charlotte around the house with a loving eye. He frolicked with her in the backyard and even slept with her. He was her bodyguard, which made what happened next even more shocking. Catherine had no idea what to think. All she remembered was that the shelter had told her about Khan's past. When Khan arrived at the animal shelter, he was incredibly malnourished. The shelter rescued him from a life of abuse and neglect. A purebred Doberman, he was raised by a breeder and sold to the worst home possible. Besides being malnourished, Khan's body was badly injured. He had broken ribs and clear signs of abuse. Some in the shelter felt the best life for the dog would be no life at all. They warned Catherine that Khan could lash out at any time and it wouldn't be safe around the baby. The life-shaking incident occurred with Catherine watching from the kitchen, helpless to do anything. Khan and Charlotte were in the backyard when the dog began nudging the toddler. Charlotte ignored him until he knocked her over, picked her up by the diaper and thrashed her around. Horrified, Catherine ran outside as fast as she could, but wasn't fast enough. Khan flung Charlotte across the yard and howled. Amazingly, just when it looked like Khan proved the doubters right, he couldn't have proved them more wrong. Up next, what really happened in the backyard? As it turned out, Charlotte was just fine, and Khan's horrifying howl was actually a painful yelp. After tossing Charlotte to safety, he hobbled up to Catherine and collapsed. Confused and in shock, Catherine somehow managed to find her focus and act fast. Suddenly, it wasn't her toddler's life that was in danger, it was her heroic dogs. With adrenaline rushing through her, Catherine found the strength to get Khan to the vet. Once there, saving Khan's life became a race against the clock. Pulling into the vet, Khan received help right away. The doctor found bite marks just above his right front paw. Khan had been bitten by a venomous snake. More than that, Khan had saved Charlotte from being bitten by a venomous snake. Now, he lay paralyzed and near death. 
The vet pumped Khan full of antivenom. At this point, there was nothing anyone could do but wait. The truth is, depending upon when Catherine and Khan got to the vet's office, it may have been too late to save his life. Keep watching to learn what kind of snake bit Khan. As Khan and Charlotte played in the backyard, they had no idea a venomous mulga snake was hiding in the bushes. The mulga snake is more commonly known as a king brown snake, one of the deadliest snakes in the world. These civilix live in Australia, which is known for having an assortment of the world's deadliest animals. Still, you'd never expect to find such a dangerous creature in your backyard, regardless of where you lived. With the culprit discovered, it's now time to go back and uncover the true story behind the attack. Charlotte and Khan were playing in the backyard when Khan saw the snake. Sensing danger, he tried to let Charlotte know to move. His first attempt was to nudge her. She didn't get the hint, so he kept nudging her until she fell down. At this point, he acted fast, grabbed her by the diaper, and tossed her out of the way. From Charlotte's perspective, this was one of the scariest sights of her life. From Khan's perspective, he was doing the only thing he knew how to save the family that saved him. With Charlotte safe, Khan took a vicious strike from the Mulga, possibly trading his life for Charlotte's. Up next, Khan's fight for his life at the vet. Catherine sped through traffic and made it to the vet's office in record time to save Khan. Unfortunately, there were several factors out of her control once there. Had she gotten Khan there fast enough? How much venom had been injected into him? What kind of venom? How fast was the venom spreading? Khan had only been with the family for four days before the incident, but they already loved him like he'd been there for years. Luckily for them, Khan was a fighter. He survived a broken home and was given a second chance at life. He wasn't about to give that up. So far, we've talked about two possible endings. Khan survives to live a happy life, or he doesn't. There's a third ending, though. Before Catherine left the vet, they let her know every possible outcome. One of these outcomes was Khan surviving but being paralyzed for the rest of his life. Depending on how much venom went into Khan's bloodstream, it might not have been enough to kill him. Weighing well over 100 pounds, there was always a chance Khan would survive the attack regardless. So which ending did Khan get? The Civilix waited with Khan at the vets until closing. They were told there was nothing more they could do. Khan was in for a long night at the vets. He'd been given as much anti-venom and medicine as they could allow. Now it was up to him to produce enough antibodies in his blood to fight back. Charlotte and Catherine returned home and anxiously waited for the morning. Catherine has admitted that she didn't sleep at all that night. She couldn't bear the thought of losing Khan. Coming up, find out if Khan survived and what happened after. With no sleep the night before, Catherine drove Charlotte to the vet the next morning. They got there early and had to wait until the office opened to find out if Khan survived the night. They let them inside and told them Khan had survived the night. Khan, as a matter of fact, was doing so well that he was already regaining his strength. He was expected to make a full recovery. The miraculous news meant Charlotte would continue to grow up with her best friend and protector. Of course, this isn't where our story ends. Khan may have entered the animal shelter in the worst shape of his life, but his lineage made sure he was strong enough to handle it. According to the shelter, Khan was bred from another heroic Doberman. His grandfather once saved a young child just like Charlotte. Khan had his name expanded after the incident. Khan the Wonder Dog. Wonder seems to run in his family. Thankfully, he was able to get out of the abusive home and find the truly loving one he deserved. Next, Khan's story goes viral. Khan's attack turned rescue quickly became a media sensation around the world. The best part is Khan has no idea he's a celebrity. He'll always see himself as Charlotte's best friend. Catherine, however, knows Khan is admired worldwide. When a reporter asked her about his heroism, she said, if Khan wants a gold bowl, Khan gets it. We owe him for the rest of his life. Khan will live a long and full life with the Civilix. Find out what they're up to today, next. Khan and Charlotte are still best friends. It's hard not to believe Destiny chose them to grow up together. Hopefully, this story will help ease fears around dangerous dogs such as Dobermans. Khan's only violent when it comes to protecting those he loves. Khan isn't the only heroic dog out there. Another story that caught our attention is a heroic dog called Nala. She stood between her best friend and a green Mojave rattlesnake to save his life. Learn about their story next. 
call Lewis and Nala had no idea what was waiting for them on a bike ride in Northern California one day. Out of nowhere, a green Mojave rattlesnake jumped out of the brush and attacked. The first strike was a near miss. The second strike wouldn't be so forgiving. Nala positioned herself between Cole and the attacker. The snake lunged again, biting Nala on the nose. Cole ran as fast as possible to find his stepdad Anthony and get help. The pair rushed Nala to the vet as quickly as possible. When asked about Nala's heroic act by a reporter, Cole said she stood her ground. She didn't whimper or anything when she got bit. Cole's stepdad was able to identify the snake and a strong anti-venom was administered. Nala was considered to be in critical condition and the next several days would determine her fate. Nala was placed in a hyperbaric chamber for the first 24 hours while the anti-venom took effect. To be able to afford the treatment, Cole and Anthony had to start a GoFundMe page to raise extra funds. As you're about to see, their efforts were worth it. Waiting for days to find out the fate of a pet can be excruciating. When the vet finally called Cole to let him know Nala was okay, he was overjoyed. Nala was even more overjoyed and jumped all over her best friend. When they took Nala back home, Anthony said, We got her from a rescue. We rescued her and she rescued us. Since the incident, Coles created a Facebook page warning people to be careful on trails and always be on the lookout for possible dangers to avoid. Keep watching for more stories of heroic dogs saving human lives. This is Babu, a Shih Tzu that lives in Miyako, Japan. Babu weighs in at just 10 pounds and shows us that you don't have to be a big dog to be a hero. On the morning of March 11, 2011, Babu's 83-year-old owner, Tammy Akinuma, noticed that the little dog seemed more nervous than usual. It was earlier than they usually went on their morning walk together, but Tammy got Babu's leash and opened the front door. What happened next is remarkable and made Tammy very glad she took Babu out early that day. When Tammy opened the front door to let Babu out, she was surprised that the dog headed straight for a nearby hill. This was the exact opposite direction that they usually took on their walks. Tammy thought this was unusual, but let Babu lead the way anyway. According to the local paper, Yomi Yuri Shimbun, when Tammy's pace slackened, Babu would look back, seemingly urging her owner to walk faster. When Tammy caught up, Babu would bound ahead again, straining at her leash. Where was Babu leading Tammy? The pair continued to walk at this brisk pace until they reached the top of the hill. It was incredibly fortunate that they were so high up, because just then a tsunami hit Miyaku. The town is only 200 yards or 600 feet from the coast. Miyako and the entire nearby district of Taro Kawamukai were devastated. Tammy's home was destroyed in the strong floodwaters. Heroic Babu had led Tammy to safety that morning and even brought her to within a kilometer of the closest evacuation center. Next, a dog who provided a voice when her owner couldn't speak. They say the dog is man's best friend. But this particular golden retriever is one man's best, best friend. It was New Year's Eve 2016 in Michigan, and Bob went out to collect wood for his fire. Unfortunately, he slipped and fell, badly hurting his neck. Bob was incapacitated, and it was only 24 degrees outside. How is he going to survive those frigid temperatures while stuck in the snow, unable to move? Bob began screaming in effort to get his neighbor's attention. The closest home was about a quarter mile away, and it was already 10.30 at night. The neighbor didn't hear him, but Bob's golden retriever, Kelsey, did. She ran out and stayed by his side, even sitting on his arms to keep them warm. Bob started to lose hope as he yelled and the hours ticked by. By the morning, he'd completely lost his voice and even went unconscious. But Kelsey took over for him, barking endlessly into the cold winter air. The following day, a neighbor named Rick came by to borrow some eggs and heard Kelsey's frantic barking. Bob's daughter, Jenny, recounted the story to WYFF News. The last thing he remembers saying is telling Kelsey he was sorry that he tried as hard as he could to stay alive. She continued, He wasn't sure by the end. He remembers losing consciousness and kind of putting his head to the side and saying, I gave it all I could give, and that was it. We think about one hour later is when Rick came and found him. Bob was rushed to the local hospital, where he was prepped for surgery. Dr. Chaim Colin performed a spinal decompression surgery, which was successful. After recovery and physical therapy, Bob was just fine. Bob told CBS, 
I'm so thankful for my two heroes. Kelsey kept me warm, alert, and never stopped barking to help. Dr. Colon saved my life and ability to move. They're truly heroes, and I will be eternally grateful. Next up, a rescue pup turned hero. Keep watching to learn what she did. This adorable pup is named Peanut. She was saved from an atrocious and abusive situation and ended up at the Delta Animal Shelter in Escanaba, Michigan. Here's what the shelter said about her on their Facebook page. Petunia arrived at the shelter last April with two broken legs, a belly full of carpet, broken ribs, all injuries happened at different times. Healed, her former owner recently convicted of animal abuse. Petunia has a new name, Peanut, and a new chance at life. It's miraculous enough that Peanut survived the abuse she endured, but she went on to repay the favor. Her new owner, the kind woman who rescued Peanut, wrote to Delta Animal Shelter to share a story about the dog. About 11 a.m. this morning, Peanut started going crazy at our house, she said. She was running up and down the stairs, barking and yelping. She then went and got my husband, who was in the garage working on some projects, and alerted him that she wanted to go outside. He said he could hear her running around upstairs but didn't understand why. What had Peanut so worked up? Peanut's owner had only recently adopted the dog but knew her well enough to realize that something must be terribly wrong for her to be acting up like this. He took her outside to investigate. He led her outside where she went barreling into the field behind our house at full speed, said the wife in the letter to Delta Animal Shelter. So what was it that had distressed Peanut so much? No one expected Peanut's trip into the field to end the way that it did, especially on a freezing cold Michigan morning, the letter continued. My husband followed her. To his surprise, he found a naked, shivering, three-year-old girl curled up in a ball. He scooped her up, wrapped her in his sweatshirt, and brought her inside. He called 911 and reported the incident. The child was discovered in a ditch. Peanut's owners brought her inside to keep her warm while they waited for paramedics to arrive. When the authorities arrived, the toddler could only say one word, doggy. Luckily, though, she was physically okay and didn't have hypothermia or any injuries. After her parents were located, the child was placed into a foster home where she would receive the care she deserved. Peanut saved this girl's life the way her own had been saved. Her owner wrote a touching tribute to the rescue dog and her heroic efforts. Peanut's owner wrote, She's been such a blessing to us and now to others. Words cannot express how grateful we are that we have Peanut in our lives and how amazing she is. She's a part of our family now and thanks to wonderful people like you at the shelter, she's alive. Without her, not only would she have been gone from this world, but the life of this little girl might have been taken as well.